independent living, teaching these guys independent living skills, you know, because once they leave my house that I work in, they're on their own, you know, they come out to the world and they have to work and school and, you know, it's trying to just, it's getting them adjusted to real life, life outside of a group home. They'll both be going to college next year, my boys be leaving the nest. All the things that I've been through, I've never been through one ounce of what some of these kids have been through, you know, abused by parents, you know, sexually abused by parents, you know, parents putting out cigarettes on them, you know, locking them in closets, you know. I've never been through any of that. So I always tell them, I, I can't say I understand, but I feel what you're saying. You are way ahead of the game, you know. You done had the worst of your life. There's really nothing that can happen to you that can compare to this. I don't judge anyone. That's not my job. You know, as God said, he'll do that well. You know, so I don't I don't hold bias to the things they've been through, you know, and they see that in me. That's why it's such a give and take relationship, you know. I don't go to work just because I'm happy to get that check. You know? When I go to work, I'm going to work for these boys. You know, I want to at least want them to see that, you know, you mean something. I just want to be like a living proof, you know, that you can come from nothing and be something.